Hello, hello, and welcome back at another new radio video. Now, do you remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on my Alinko and a repair that I had to do? Um, that's still available on my channel, by the way, and it's not doing so well. So if you haven't seen it, I suggest you just pop over there and just give it a look. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, back to the Alinko. Yeah, I had a little problem with the Alinko and uh, managed to fix it, which is all explained in the video if you check it out. Um, but basically, the Alinko is starting to get a little bit tired and I did say that I would be putting it into a semi-retirement state. And the question was, well, what to replace it with? Now, I did think about going second-hand, and I had a few suggestions, including the Yaesu, the FT950, which is a fantastically large-sized radio, but I really fancied something new for a change. So in the end, after plenty of searching, I settled on the Yaesu 450D. Now the 450D, it's quite of an intermediate radio. It's what a lot of ham users start with after they take their foundation course. I did some intensive Googling on the radio and found the reviews pretty favorable. I think most people had good things to say about it. Um, there was the criticism that the display wasn't very readable in sunshine, but I don't intend to use the radio on a rally or anything like that. And uh, one slightly elderly guy didn't like the fact that there's a lot of the options are menu-based and felt the radio could do a few more knobs and buttons, but uh, that's modern radios, I'm afraid. But one thing that did come up was that uh, generally people didn't like the standard microphone that Yaesu supply. Now, the microphone in the box is a 31A8J, and it, on the face of it, it looks a quite a nice microphone. It has uh, shortcut keys as well. But people felt this didn't complement the 450D very well. It works okay on the FT817 and, and the 857, but with the 450D, no one really got on with it. And in fact, people preferred the older microphone that used to be supplied, which is the 67A. Even though this doesn't have the uh, shortcut keys and looks a far more basic mic, this one seemed to get far better radio reports. And even as a standalone microphone, I couldn't find really a bad report about this. And certainly, you know, this microphone issue got a few people quite excited. This guy in particular was sort of quite unhappy with the supplied microphone and compared it to a uh, microphone you would find in a 1970s CB radio, which isn't particularly good at this price level. So I found that really strange, so I did a little bit of digging. I found that the new microphone, the 31A, is supplied with a dynamic element, whereas the older one, the 67, has an electric condenser. So now I understand that sort of 1970s CB comment, because converting back to a dynamic element does seem like a step backwards. And in fact, people are converting a 31A to 67A spec by fitting an electric. And there is uh, some guides on the internet. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest, just a little bit of uh, electronic and glue. But I didn't really want to start ripping my microphone apart straight away. So I decided to look on eBay and found that the original microphone was still available, be it at a slight higher cost. There's also clones available of the, uh, the 67A as well. And by looking at the pictures, I can't see the difference. And this guy's review here seems to confirm that he bought both the original and a clone. And on air, they, he could hear no difference either so i went for a uh, uk supplier and i've ordered the 67a microphone I th it may be a clone it may not i'm not quite sure but i paid a mid price so i'm waiting for that to arrive now ultimately what i would like is the yaesu 100 desk microphone as that is agreed that that works particularly well with the 450d but at the moment that's just a little bit too expensive and that's outside my budget Anyway, that's four minutes of me waffling. That's plenty enough. So let's get on with it. Let's get on with the unboxing of the radio. Right, after all that waffling, um, finally, the uh, unboxing. So here it is, the Yaesu FT450 Delta. Um, I bought this new, decided that I wanted a new radio this time. Um, I bought lots of second-hand radios in the past and uh, just decided on a new one. Now, as I mentioned before, this is really like an intermediate radio. It's a radio that a lot of uh, new hams, after taking their foundation course, buy. And uh, it's sort of a radio that you would move move up from once uh, you sort of got yourself more established. For me, it's ideal um, because, obviously, I'm not licensed. So uh, I'm just looking for something that's a bit of a sort of a modern version of my Alinko. Right, um, bought it from Radio World. And I'll tell you what it costs. Don't mind telling um, it's uh, around £500 plus delivery. I've also had this one wide banded as well. I think that costs about another 30 quid on top. So around about the 550 mark 
um, brand new. You want to buy these sort of second hand, well they hold their price pretty well actually. Um, they are very very popular and you're generally on eBay you can pay up to £450 second hand. Um, probably around about a £400 mark. So, you know, buying second hand, buying new, there's not a great deal in it really to be perfectly honest. Um, well obviously that's the, uh, that's the manual. I have... I did get it out of the box when it first arrived, so it does obviously come in the uh, in the bag. But it had been opened before because it, hey, it has been wide banded. Um, quite a nice long power lead. Quite a sort of a heavy. Uh, imagine that's probably a, that's a 30 amp cable. It does draw 22 amps, so you're going to need quite a uh, sort of substantial power supply. This is the controversial, the MH31 A8J microphone. This is that. Uh, dynamic microphone which I was talking about earlier. Um, if you missed that then you pop back and it's on the early part of this video. So yeah this is the microphone that just doesn't appear to work very well with this radio and I find it strange that Yesu you know continue to supply it when it gets such bad and poor reviews. It does have a couple a few buttons on there obviously you've got the up and down button and a FST, I'm not quite sure what that is, I don't know if that's uh, programmable. Um, yeah, it's alright, um, you've got a tone switch on the back there, tone one and, one and two. To be honest, people um, haven't really sort of found that makes a great deal of difference. You've got EQ settings in the radio itself. But I say, you know, it's quite heavy, it feels quite nice, but I have ordered the older 67, the older microphone with the electric uh, condenser in, fitted inside because universally you know people feel that is such a much better microphone and uh, as I say eventually I'd like to get a desk microphone but just can't quite stretch to that at the moment so that's the microphone then we have the uh, the 450 what a nice itself. size actually I, I specifically didn't really want a massive radio I'm trying to sort of downsize a little bit up in the uh, up in the shack and uh, this one is probably about the size of the Alinko, maybe it might even be slightly smaller, would make a nice portable radio if you were going to take this out onto a rally, things like that. Um, that's got this protective screen there, we'll just carefully remove that. And uh, there it is, there we go. Um, everything, you know, you have, you have got a few shortcut bu buttons, of course things um, are menu based on this radio, I have watched a few reviews and uh, you've got sort of certain uh, menus. Now, you know, for me, I, I know people are going to say, well, you know, you're not licensed, you might as well just stick to a kind of a CB radio, or you might just get a second-hand radio. You know, why spend this sort of money um, on a radio? But f for me, what this radio has over the Alinko, which I'm hoping is going to help me, is the DSP, the Digital Sound Processing. And on the reviews that uh, I've seen, that really does clear up the uh, the side the sideband. You can really lower the sort of the hiss level and uh, basically sort of tune it in better to receive audio. Now, as I have a hearing loss issue, um, I'm hoping that will uh, will help me. But uh, quite nice and heavy um, speaker on the top. Yeah, okay. For size, you know, form factor, it's probably better than having it underneath. Uh, would have been nice to have had it maybe on the front, but uh, that wasn't going to happen. And then uh, turning it around on the back, um, we have looks like a sort of a DIN plug, which I assume is for uh, programming, uh, an output for a linear, an output for a tuner. Oh, there's no, there, sorry, there's the data pin there, that's sort of like. And then we have a sort of a fan, um, which apparently the earlier ones were a little noisy. This is supposed to be cooler. Uh, the antenna in and uh, the power. So it's, you know, it's pretty basic. It's uh, nothing too spectacular. Um, pretty basic, but uh, I say there it is. There we go. And I know you guys like to sort of see an unboxing, especially if you're buying second hand, you know, you can see what come um, from the actual supplier when it was new. OK, I'm going to, uh, that's, that's it for this video. I'm going to hopefully do some uh, radio tests a little later on. And uh, straight out of the box with the, uh, the supplied microphone, which isn't the best, obviously. Um, and on a, maybe on, on a flat setting without the you know, microphone uh, EQ settings and anything, we might compare it side by side against the Alinko, which could be quite an interesting test. Um, the Alinko actually, has, I've never had a really bad report from the Alinko, so uh, this one has, you know, straight out of the box. I think it will do very well to even match the Alinko. I know it does need a little bit of tuning, 
and uh, I've got to learn my way around the menus. But that will come up later on. Hopefully, I'll uh, I'll get a video on that uh, on that on that later on. But for now, there we go. Just a quick unboxing. Just a quick bit on the beginning about the microphones. But cheers. Thanks for watching. Uh, look out for the next video, and uh, I'll catch you all on the next one.